Hello, my name is Lin Nguyen. In this video, I'll be going over how to set up Eclipse to work with Python. So first off, make sure you go to eclipse.org and then you want to go to the download section and click on Eclipse Classic 3.7.2. You can go in here and choose a version you wish to download. I'll be using the Windows 32-bit. And you just click on um, the link here and you can download it from there. I've already downloaded my copy, so um, you should be getting a package that is named just like this. It's a zip file folder. After that, you want to go make sure and download the proper Python version you're using um, that you want to use. In my case, I'll be using Python 2.7.2, and I also have Python 3.2.2 on my machine. I have both of these. So I'll go over how to set up both the different versions in case you want to have more than one version in there. Um, I'm teaching a class that goes over this and for that class we'll be using 2.7.2. Alright, so make sure after you download the Python 2.7.2 or 3.22 to install it and just to choose a, uh, the default directory it will be easier that way. Okay, from this point, I'm going to uh, grab my Eclipse zip folder. And here it is. I have this uh, zip file. Um, you want to extract this into your um, program files directory. So if I open mine, uh, I have this. I can just drag and drop this right into my C program files. And I'll just grab this and just drop it right in there. There it goes. Make sure you have already installed uh, the Python program. So I'm going to go in here, double click on Eclipse, and you should have a uh, logo pop up. Mine's on the other screen right now. And you should also get a workspace launcher. Uh, this basically tells you uh, where you want to save all of your work to. Uh, I'm just going to make a new folder on my desktop and just link it to that. So I'll make a new folder right now on the side. I'm going to call this uh, Eclipse Demo. And I'll point mine straight to that. So if I go to my desktop, there's going to be a folder called Eclipse demo. Where is it at? There it is. Click OK. And for this case, I'm not going to check this box because I want to change this um, location later on. But if you know that you want to save all your projects in the same location every single time, just click use this as a default and don't ask again. In my case, I'm not going to. I click OK. And uh, the whole Eclipse program will launch. This is the window you should get. I'm going to close this and I'm going, going to help install new software this window and we're going to click with available software sites from here I click add and I'm going to uh, choose a location it's going to be pydev.org slash updates and the name I'm just going to call it pydev click OK um, I'm going to click reload because sometimes um, it doesn't read it properly and this just makes sure everything runs nice and smooth. Okay, I'm going to click OK from here. Where it says work with, I'm going to type pydev. And right now it seems like there's some little issues it's not really reading what I need to do. I'm just going to close this, rerun it, and sometimes this works for me. Pydev, and there it goes, it popped up. Uh, it takes a while for this to register sometimes, so just close it and reopen it. You should be okay. I'm going to cl double click on this, and it should be grabbing the information I need. There's PyDev and uh, Millen integration. I'm just going to use the normal PyDev right here and click Next. It'll wait a bit for it to calculate its requirements and dependencies. All right, you should get a section that pops up, a little window that says uh, PyDev for Eclipse. Just click on that and click Next. Accept the agreements, finish. And it's going to install the software for you. Um, you can click Run in the Background. I just prefer having it up here so I can see what's going on. 
After a while you should get uh, this window popping up. Just check this box, click OK, and let it finish. At this point, just click Restart Now. It'll relaunch Eclipse for you. And because I asked it to um, pop up again, I'll just click OK right here. And here is our uh, Eclipse. Now let's set it up so uh, we can set up to exactly which version we want to use. So I'm going to Window, Preferences. This pops up right here. Um, I prefer using Eclipse over uh, the Python GUI because uh, the Python Idle GUI doesn't have line numbers and it quite frankly kind of sucks. So I use this instead. Uh, I'm going to open the General, Editors, Text Editors, and I'm going to click on Show Line Numbers. This is really useful. Uh, next is under PyDev. I'm going to scroll down. Interpreter Python. In here, I'm going to click New. The name I would choose is the Python version you're using. In this case, it's Python 2.7.2. And Interpreter Executable. This is wherever you installed Python. So I click on Browse. And uh, my case is going to be C Python 2.7. And I choose the python.exe for it. I click OK. And I'm going to use my defaults. Click OK. And this is going to be used for Python 2.7.2. Do this again because I'm also using Python 3.2.2. So I'm just call this 3.2.2. And this time I'm going to select the Python 32, python.exe. Click OK. Again, I'm going to use my defaults. All right, once I'll, all that's done, I'll click Apply, let it update. All right, once it's done, I'm just going to click on OK. And if I want to start a new project now, I'm just going to go to File, New, Project. From here, I'll open up PyDev, choose PyDev Project, click Next, and you can give it a name whatever you want. So I'll just call this Hello World. Choose a grammar version you wish to use. So if you're using 3.2.2, uh, you're using 3.0. And if you're using 2.7, I'll be using 2.7 right here. The interpreter you want to use is the version you plan to use with. So I'm using Python 2.7.2. And the rest, I'm just going to keep default, finish. And I'm going to say yes. It's going to add a new little section up here. Yes, there you go, PyDev. I don't need the Java one anymore, so I can right-click on the Java, click Close. And from here, if I want to create a new uh, file to script on, I'm going to right click on it, new, file, and give it a name. In this case, I'm going to be hello world.py. Make sure you put your extension. In case it's a PY or PYW, it's up to you. Finish. And here it is. I have it inside. Now I might want to uh, type out print. I'm just going to use this, hello world, and you see it already does autocomplete, it figures out what I need to do. Um, this is really nice and convenient. All your text highlighting that you get, and your numbering, and if you want to run it, just click the play button right here. Python run, OK. Just click OK, and there you go. Get your hello world. It's very simple, to the point. Um, if I wanted to make another project using Python 3.2.2, I can do again, File New, and go to Project, PyDev Project, Next, choose 3.0, Interpreter, 3.2.2, give it a name. I can call this Hello World 3.2.2, and I have a new folder here now, New, File, I can call this hello world.py and this will be inside this folder so the naming still works and you'll notice that this is now attached to it instead and again you use the same print and you can see there's pretty good text that's popping up already pretty nice I can still do hello worlds like so run okay and there's an error why because the newer version of Python requires it to be in parentheses. 
All right, we have it. So remember you to make sure you choose the proper version of Python that you plan to use because the syntax is slightly different. If we look at um, this right here versus our other Hello World, and you can see that they are different. Okay, so I hope that was useful.